Welcome to Reinvention, the other side of uncertainty. My name is David Burden, and I'm here as a collaboration between your EAP provider, MHN, and the state of California's Office of Employee Wellness. AB 109, and more specifically its implementation, have really created a feeling of anxiety and uncertainty in pretty much all of the correction staff. And as important as you are to our state, this is our opportunity to begin opening up resources to you uh, to help you deal with a lot of the uncertainty and change and challenge that await you as we move forward another year. We have designed this program specifically to address the needs that you have, and during the eight modules that you're going to participate in, you'll be engaged in such things as writing resumes, uh, identifying appropriate networking opportunities, taking care of your body, dealing with the emotions of the upheaval that you're experiencing, dealing with the overwhelm. Throughout and across all the eight modules, there will be a number of resources that will be flashing on your screen and that are also in your handouts to assist you in this journey. Now, how do you use this program? Again, this is the introductory module, so in this module we're going to teach you everything that you need to know to really maximize the other seven modules. So the first thing you need to do is watch this video, so congratulations, you're already doing that. The second thing I would encourage you to do is to purchase or find a notebook. As you go through the remaining seven modules and you're uncovering issues of things such as, I never knew I was interested in that, I do want to go back to school. I, there are other industries I'd like to work in. As you begin to have different thoughts that go beyond the state of California and go beyond your role here with corrections, that notebook is going to be a key piece of material for you to use to capture that information. And as you're capturing that information module to module, by module eight, we're going to take all of that information and we're going to dump it into an action plan because without the action plan, all of this has been entertaining, it's been fun, it may even have been thought-provoking, but it will have been a waste of time without the notebook and without your action plan. One of the other things that this introductory module is designed to do is to give you an overview about what lies ahead. So, for example, in the following module, we're going to be talking about managing uncertainty. Managing uncertainty is a very unusual set of, re requires, I should say, a very unusual set of skills. Uh, generally, when people enter into civil service, there is an understanding that I can have this job as long as I want. I can work here as long as I'd like. So a lot of you, and again, I've worked with thousands of you guys, I, I understand that there is a feeling of, this can't happen to me, what's happened here? So we need to be able to, identify the skill sets necessary to deal with all of this, not be in denial, not have our blood pressure go up, be able to sleep, and be able to plan and think through what our next steps should be. So in module two, that's what we're going to do. The third module is going to be a module where we can talk about how to turn challenges into opportunities. When we identify a moment in time when we're challenged, often what happens is our perceptions take over and we look at challenges as being negative. Module three talks about how to turn challenges into calls to action for you as opposed to being something to be afraid of. Module four, we're going to be assessing your skills, or I should say you will be assessing your skills. Many of the prisons I've visited, people have told me, I'm only a this, I'm only a that, I'm only a corrections person, I'm only a custody person, I'm only an admin person, I'm only a file clerk. Well, you need to remove the only as a descripting word for yourself. The other thing is, we need to be able to take your options form that Human Resources sent, we need to get your training records pulled, and we need to start taking a look at all the skills that you have that make you great at what you're doing right now. Many of you understand that you take care of people that most Californians don't want living next door to them. It takes a lot of skill to be able to do that effectively. Managing conflict, multitasking, be, being good at feedback, listening effectively, communication skills. All of those things have value 
on a resume when you're looking to transfer to another position here in, in within the state or if you're looking for opportunities outside the state. So a self-assessment is going to be really a pivotal piece of information for you. The next module, or module five, deals with networking and collaboration. Now again, networking and collaboration are not terms that have typically been associated with civil service, but welcome to the 21st century, everyone. We are going to have to start talking to people, handing out business cards, going to regional networking functions, talking with our peers, finding out where the opportunities are, but beware. Not all networking is good networking. You're going to need to tune in to Module 5 in order to find out how to select effective networking programming for yourselves. Once we've done that, we're going to move into Module 6, which talks about establishing a resume. Again, Many people across the state have said, well, what kind of resume am I going to write? I've worked for the state of California for 25 years. Well, that's wonderful. I need to let you know that a resume is designed to highlight you and place you in the best light. The fact that you've been with one employer for 25 years actually speaks a great deal about integrity, values, and behaviors that have value outside or in other areas within the state system. There are many different styles of resumes. One is perfect for you. So if this is a point, and with most human beings, a resume of the feeling that washes over people is one of, my whole life is going to be boiled down to two or three pages. Well, that's one way to look at it. But another way of looking at it is that those two or three pages will be uh, those pages that tell your story and tell, tell others that this is how, you, how and where you can fit in and how you can provide value. That's Module 6. Now moving into Module 7, we have to talk about getting into action and get, getting moving. And getting moving, what does that mean? Well, it means that the notes that you've taken in your notebook, that means the handouts that you will have been completing throughout our session, that means that all those things sort of come into an apex, and that's when you have to start sitting down and saying, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? And how do I think I'm going to need to get there? What resources I'm going to need? And just begin to brainstorm what those resources are. In your handout packet, you should be surprised at the number of resources that have been gathered on your behalf to assist you in this uh, time of transition. The last and final module, Module 8, has to do with action planning and showing you not only once you've completed your action plan, but showing how to nurture that action plan, how to revisit it, how to reevaluate it, and how to continue to breathe life into it. A word of caution about action plans, you should, as some people say, you should date your plans and not marry them. <laughs> that would have been great advice for me 10 years ago. However, when we're talking about action plans, we need to be able to, to identify those actions that are working and those actions that are not working. We revisit the plan to check for those two things to make sure that we are always on target. So where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? You go to a store to purchase a notebook. You print off the participant handout that corresponds to this video. You familiarize yourselves with the handouts that I'll be referring to in subsequent videos. And you begin to say, where am I now and where am I going? If you have any other questions, if you have any concerns, please feel free to contact the Office of Wellness. Thank you, and we'll see you in Module 2.